Is this a good use of your transportation dollars? I am outraged. First at 11 tonight, a Portland City Commissioner blasts the Oregon Department of Transportation for using those giant boulders to keep homeless campers out. Thank you for joining us. I'm Laurel Porter and I'm Dan Haggerty. We first reported on this new tactic from ODOT last month. Tonight, Commissioner Joanne Hardesty is calling it a waste of money. KGW's Mike Benner is live in Southwest Portland with more details, Mike. Well, Laurel, simply put, Joanne Hardesty is not a fan of the boulders you see here at Southwest 14th and Montgomery and the boulders elsewhere around the city. She says it hurts a very vulnerable population. More from her in a moment. First, though, some background on these boulders. They've been dropped onto ODOT properties throughout Portland. And what this does is deter homeless camping. As you might imagine, neighbors who live near some of these sites are relieved. They were tired of the tents, the trash, and human waste, among other things. Others, though, believe ODOT's uh, use of these giant boulders is too aggressive. You can count Portland City Commissioner Joanne Hardesty among them. She posted a video message on YouTube earlier this evening. Take a listen. I am outraged that we're using public money to displace people that we cannot provide housing for. ODOT, how about providing some tents? How about some uh, 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 tiny houses, right? How about working with the community to help us solve our houseless problem? All right, we can tell you Hardesty is urging people to contact ODOT to complain about the boulders. For what it's worth, we did reach out to ODOT for comment. They have not gotten back to us. But in the past, they said they plan to spend upwards of a million dollars to get the boulders in place. They called it an effective tool and cheaper than continually cleaning up illegal homeless camps.